The 2010 census reported that one out of every six Americans is Latino. That's over 50 million Latinos in the United States. We sit down with the Pew Hispanic Center's Mark Hugo Lopez to talk about politics, economics, numbers, and the future of our country. wanted to look at the issue of leadership in the Latino in the Latino community. Why ask the question around leadership in, in the Latino community now? And when you did ask that question, what did you find out? Well, this is a the Latino community is a, is a growing and changing community. It's also very young. And it's interesting to watch how the community is changing in both in terms of its politics, how, how many are voting, how engaged are they in their communities, what are the issues that have concerns to them. So we wanted to explore another part of this story, which is uh, who are the nation's Latino leaders? And we, the way we did this is we, we, we did a national public opinion survey and we asked Hispanic adults, uh, who is the nation's most important prominent Latino leader today? What we found is we found that two thirds of Latinos said that they didn't know. Another 10% said no one. Of those who were named, Sonia Sotomayor was most often named, followed by Luis Gutierrez, Antonio Villaragosa, and Jorge Ramos. So a diversity of people who were named among uh, those in our survey. And just so people know, Sonia Sotomayor, Supreme Court Justice, yes. Luis Gutierrez, outspoken congressman from Illinois, mm -hmm. uh, working Chicago. Working on, on, on immigration on reform. Immigration. Yes. immigration. Antonio Villaraigosa, the first Latino mayor of Los Angeles, uh, of Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. and Jorge Ramos, who is the anchor for the Univision Evening yes. News, That's correct. which at some point now Univision is actually getting bigger ratings than many of the other networks. So that's that's a name that's important. Yes, and uh, these findings were uh, were were pretty consistent across whether native born or foreign born, whether we were talking about English speakers or Spanish speakers, a very similar set of results. For the most part, a majority of Latinos were unable to name a national leader. Now this is only one look at this particular uh, question. We did try something else. We did provide a list of folks, a list of names for Latinos to both say, do they know who this person is? And also, do they consider this person a leader? It was there that we began to see some differences in who was identified as leaders and who was not. Uh, for example, when we asked, um, uh, when we asked uh, of this, about this list of Spanish speakers, Jorge Ramos was at the top of the list, followed by Sonia Sotomayor. When we asked it, uh, when you take a look at, look at English speakers, it was Sonia Sotomayor at the top of the list, followed by Bill Richardson. So the list was a little bit different depending on which group of Latinos we talked about. It was also interesting that Spanish speakers were actually more aware of these names. They were more likely to say, yeah, I've heard of that person, like Sonia Sotomayor, of course, but also, say, Bill Richardson, et cetera. Um, English-speaking Latinos were less likely to have been aware of many of the folks that we had in our list. Mm -hmm. 